Hello, and welcome to Bulletproof Art. I'm Sam. If you enjoy bullet journaling as much as I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay connected. I want to do a giveaway. So, the rules are, you have to be subscribed to the channel, you have to like this video, and then comment your favorite type of bullet journal spread down below in the comments. And I'll choose the winner from the comments. What the winner will receive is some washi tape. This one, I accidentally bought two of them from Wish, so that's what gave me the inspiration for this giveaway. But you'll also receive some of my homemade washi tape that I made for this month, and also two sets of stickers. So there's these dandelion stickers, and then the bee theme stickers that I made for this month as well. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and get commenting and liking and subscribing. And without further ado, today we're going to be doing a May plan with me. I really hope you enjoy it. Let's get to it. Before we jump into the good stuff, I'm going to do a quick flip through of my April. If you watched my last plan with me, I changed up my sleep tracker, but uh, after the second day I didn't like it, so I pasted a paper over it and redid it to my old one. So for this month's cover page, I decided to use watered down acrylic paints, and I used this hexagon template. I don't remember where I got it from, but I taped it down to the page so that it didn't move. And then I used this old sponge to apply the paint to the template. And I started with the lightest color first and then started building up the darker colors over top of that. I created these B theme stickers for this month and I creatively titled them Be Yourself. So I just took a bunch of different sizes of the bees from the sticker set and applied them to this page. And then the biggest one, I gave it a little crown. And I used the black watercolor marker from a set that I bought from Wish to add May to the page. And I ran out of my sticky roller stuff and I ended up using glue for the rest of the pictures on my page. Now I'm moving on to my sleep log and I switched back to the original one that I had been using and I left a little space on the side there so that I could paste another picture onto the side because I always feel like my sleep logs are a little bare and I just wanted to add a little extra pizzazz. And now for my mood tracker. This took me so long to do, but I am so proud of it and I'm so excited to use it this month. It's way different than my usual ones. Um, I usually just do like a line or a bar graph. And for this one, I decided to do honeycombs. So the inside of the honeycomb is for my morning mood and then the outside part of the honeycomb is for my afternoon or midnight nude. Nude? Mood. Now for my expense tracker. If you watch my videos, this is exactly the same as it always is. It has not changed because if something's not broken, why fix it? I decided to stick with the colorful lines to separate each transaction, I guess you could say. Um, I did this last month as well and I really liked it, so I stuck with it. <laughs> for my habit tracker, I took a dotted index card and folded it in half and then I put it inside of a little cutter thingy that rounded the edges and then I just cut those in half and I wrote the dates on those. And then I'm using my homemade washi tape as the headers and then I'm just pasting the little calendars over top of that for my moods. And then I put this little queen bee picture in there. I wrote in the titles for each of my habits and then the title of the page and the rest of it seemed a little bit blank, that little blank space there, so I decorated it with some washi tape and a few more of my stickers. So 
Now for my quote unquote brain dump page. This is where I journal. Um, if I feel like I need to write anything down, it goes here. So I just decorated it with some washi tape and some of these cute pictures that I burned around the edges and crumpled up to make look a little bit aged. And last but not least is my gratitude log. So I cursively wrote gratitude across the top of the page and then I gave it a highlight, a shadow, and another highlight with my white jelly roll. And then I pasted this picture that said let it be next to some washi tape and that about wraps up this video. I'm going to do a quick flip through of all the pages that we made together. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. If you happen to make any recreations of this, you can tag me on Instagram. My information can be found in the description. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I post bullet journal videos twice a week. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!